And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about the character of Christian service. We have learned that there is a need to pray for more workers, that the Lord's servants should be honored, and the Lord provides wages for his workers. We also learn that personal power and prestige are not as important as having our names written in heaven, and that though Christian service is good, it should not hinder worship. Someone might ask the question, why does Jesus say it will be more tolerable for some on the day of judgment? When Jesus said that it would be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for those cities that rejected Jesus' messengers, what did he mean? What we learn from this passage in Luke and other similar passages in the Gospels is that in the coming day of God's judgment on the wicked, some will receive a more severe punishment than others. The reason for a greater judgment on some of the cities around Galilee was because Jesus had performed mighty miracles among them, and so they had even greater reason to believe, repent, and follow Christ. Other cities of the past had not been as fortunate to have as much spiritual light as had been given to the people of Galilee during the earthly ministry of Christ. Those who had less spiritual light to respond to are less accountable for their rejection of that light. It is important for all of us to understand this point because it applies to us also. If we have heard the gospel and know the message of the Bible, then God will hold us accountable for that light that he has given to us. Today we are privileged to each hold our own copy of the complete Bible. This was not something the first Christians had. We also have many preachers who have been well trained to teach the Bible and a wealth of books written by godly men over the past centuries. We have the Bible available not only in a variety of languages, but also in several translations to help us better understand it. We also have audio Bibles that we can listen to in so many ways for us to hear and know God's Word today. This means that we are without excuse, and we shall be held more accountable than all previous generations if we reject God's message and salvation when it has been so clearly presented and made so easily available to us, then God will bring upon us the most severe judgment of all. We tend to think that all in the fires of hell shall suffer the same, but this passage would teach us differently, pointing out that even in the lake of fire there will be different degrees of judgment. It is hard to imagine how it will be more tolerable for some when we read how Hades is a place of eternal fire, torment, and darkness. Just as the scriptures teach us that in heaven there are different degrees of reward to believers, it also teaches that there are different degrees of judgment to those who have rejected God's love and mercy. The basis of God's judgment is the works that a person does while living on the earth and the amount of spiritual light they were privileged to receive. The Bible teaches us that God has given light to every man that comes into the world, and so no one can excuse themselves or say that God has not treated them fairly. Some have been given so many opportunities and still reject God's salvation because they prefer their sin. How often has God pleaded with you to repent, turn from your sins, and trust in Jesus as your Savior? Have you been rejecting Jesus and putting off the decision to become a Christian because you did not think you could live the Christian life? Have you been pretending to be a Christian to make your relatives or family happy? How long will God plead with you? How long will he try to open your eyes and your heart? He has given his light to you in abundance. He has sent you preacher after preacher, but still you are outside and not convinced to trust in Jesus. My friend, today is the day you must hear and respond to the message that God is giving to you. Do not reject Jesus for another day, but turn to him this day and make him your only hope and trust for entering heaven. He loves you and he wants to save you. 
if you will only take him now. For he says, In an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2.